Megan's pregnancy is considered high risk because she's 37 years old. There's also concern about her busy travel schedule. Megan and Harry took a flight from London to Australia via Singapore. They were in the air a total of 22 hours. OBGYN doctor Sherry Ross. The main things for long air travel is to wear comfortable clothing, stay well hydrated with a lot of water, and wear compression stockings to help prevent any risk for blood clots. Another concern, Megan's trip will include Fiji and Tonga, where the Zika virus has been detected. The CDC recommends pregnant women should not travel to areas with risk of Zika. Regardless of who you are, we definitely recommend no uh, destinations that have any Zika virus because it's dangerous. Some are wondering whether Meghan's announcement upstage Princess Eugenie's wedding. It was at that wedding that Meghan informed the Queen and members of the royal family about her pregnancy. Just two minutes after the pregnancy announcement, Eugenie's mother, Sarah Ferguson, tweeted a flurry of congratulatory messages to her daughter. So proud of Eugenie and Jack, but she made no mention of Meghan's big news. Do you think Meghan Markle upstaged Princess Eugenie's wedding by announcing her pregnancy? And could this be how Harry and Meghan's baby might look? In these mock-ups by a forensic artist, a baby girl would have brown eyes and black hair. If it's a boy, blue eyes and brown hair. Either way, awfully cute.